Well, I did not think I would be making a part three to this, at least not so soon. Within a matter of basically like 48 hours, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher have now retracted their support for Danny Masterson and now side with the victims. I mean, you cannot make this up. As we stated in the previous video, Ashton Kutcher literally said he would leave his children alone in a room with Danny Masterson. That's how much he trusted them. He would do that. Now they're saying they side with the victims. I mean, you claim to be friends with this guy your entire life, basically. I mean, half your life. And you've been on two different shows with him. You've done nothing but support him, and now it's, I'm siding with the victims. I mean, what changed? Do you really even know him that well? I'm so confused right now. Mila Kunis, as well as Ashton Kutcher, both wrote separate letters to the judge saying that Danny Masterson was basically God's gift to Earth, and now, hours later, are saying that they side with the victims and that, you know, they were wrong hours ago. From, I'd leave my kids alone with the guy, to, I side with the victims within 48 hours. And then he throws the guy's parents out there saying that they asked him to write the letters. I mean, that's dirty. I don't know anything about his parents. I don't know what kind of people they are, but for to have someone as high profile as Ashton Kutcher say, yeah, his mommy and his daddy asked me to write the letters. Sorry guys, blame them. That is just, it makes you look even worse, dude. Now acting like their parents made you do it when you said you raised your kids together. Two sitcoms. 25 years. I'm not buying it. Honestly, after the letters leaked, you should have just rode with it and said, yeah, this is my friend, I stand by him. Especially after all the credibility you put behind it. Saying how good of a person he was, etc. Now you come off as having no backbone, and no spine. You're a jellyfish, Ashton. And Mila Kunis. You're jellyfish.